Gallery, and this year I understand this is the first time that you're here in the Northwest area. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, as you mentioned, this is our 26th year. Uh, uh, the expo has been in nine different locations, so it has moved around over time. But yes, this is our first year here. Uh, we were at the Leocor Center for 12 years. That was probably our longest run, and that particular model needed to be revamped. Uh, when you've run a business for 26 years, sometimes you have to renew things, refresh things, uh, test your assumptions again. So we decided that it's time now to take it back to the community. with us a Brazilian artist, Roni George. And we're here with looking at one of his pieces. Mr. George, I, I understand you're from Brazil, and how long have you been here doing this? So, as an artist, my, oh, about my piece, I was talking about. Your, your pieces. Okay. I began to, to create this piece maybe two months ago in Brazil. And when I was invited to come to October to, to this, festival to Philadelphia annual art export. I decided to finish here because for me it's very important because I was in Africa last January even I, it's strong for me because I'm from Bahia from Salvador okay. and there in Salvador we have we are the most Africans and most black people besides us. So I decided to finish here to feel the people to be close with them to think about the way of it and for sure to, to make contact, to make a dialogue. And for me, as an artist, it's very important to, 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 to make contact with others, with other artists, and then just love in the street and just love this, this exhibition. Tell us about this piece. Uh, it's funny because I didn't know that I was invited to come here when I began to, to make this, uh, this piece. But I, since I was a teenager, I just love pop art, pop American art. And I decided to mix that with popular aspect in Brazil. And then, uh, it's funny because it's an opportunity, because there, in this piece, we have a lot of codes, a lot of things. For example, we have what I feel about uh, uh, an artist influenced by pop American art. I have there what I decided to do to include as a popular aspect in Brazil and I have African African reflection when I decided to make a mermaid to homenage Iemanja. It's really really nice to stay here and it's it's really nice the opportunity to bring this piece. So we have Ronnie George who exhibits a combination of Brazilian, African, Native American art. Again, October Gallery Video Store. Thank you, Mr. Roni George. Thank you a lot. Thank you. A lot. Artist who is receiving the 10th annual African American Fine Art Society Best in Show Award. And to her left, we're going to have an interpreter for her because she is from the great country of Brazil. Congratulations on your award. I am very happy. Thank you. Ela estava falando assim que ela tá como que você está se sentindo a respeito de ter Very happy o décimo de melhor do show, de melhor do que aconteceu. Muito feliz. I'm how, very happy. How long, how long have you been doing your, your art? And has it always been here in this country? When did you come over to this country? Quanto tempo você faz que você pinta? Ah, mais ou menos 15 anos. Yeah, she paints around 15 years. And how long are you been here? É quanto tempo que você está aqui? Há uma, menos de uma semana. Ela chegou aqui já tem menos de uma semana. Oh, she is here less than one week. Okay, okay. Yes. So I understand you're going to actually receive your plaque 
next year. That, that's correct. She's going to receive her plaque next year. I think so. Okay. Yeah, você vai receber a sua placa no ano que vem, né? Oh, all right. And so this is your piece right here? Yes. Esse é seu trabalho. Okay, yeah. and what is the name of your piece? Qual que é o nome desse trabalho? Esse daqui é o grito. They say the screen. They say the screen. Oh, okay. Well, that's beautiful. And once again, congratulations. We're with, we're with Black Professional News TV, and we'd like to thank you. Yolanda Ward, who has passion for paper, and she's going to tell us what she's doing out here, and I believe she has something that she's looking to introduce. I'm here to introduce our new works on paper, The Warrior Women. It's how I've been collecting paper for years and years and years, and it spoke to me a few months ago, and I'm working on a series called Warrior Women and the Princess and the Pea. Princess and the Pea? behind me wow. and it's made from little bits of paper forming the textures the layers and it's also my ode to corporate America because that's me too okay. this is my warrior women series oh, that is it's beautiful. all made from layers and layers and layers of paper all kinds of paper paper from old life magazines and ebony magazines because I've been collecting them forever and ever and ever and now I'm using the paper. The lines of war. You're welcome. Please just keep it open. It's coming. It's going to be bigger and it's all for you. Wanda Davis with Black Professionals News and we're actually here with one of the entertainers, Steve Green of Breakwater. And I don't have to tell you about Breakwater, but I, we're going to stand here and we're going to talk to Mr. Green for a few minutes. Mr. Green, how are you? And thank you so much for entertaining us. How have you been? Excellent. Absolutely. And how has the how has October Gallery been for you? The performance, the warmth, the reception. Oh, the the, the uh, reception, the whole concept is just off the chain. And we uh, we performed here Friday night, which was the opening night Absolutely. of the uh, the festival. And it, we had a ball. All of our fans came out, and it was like old homes week. You know, it's like it's like a family reunion. And we put our thing down, put our splash down thing down, I should say. Um, and it was, a, it was an exciting evening for us. I'm going to catch you next time. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're actually in the process of working on a new uh, CD, a new record now. And um, hopefully um, by the spring it should be released. We have a single that we, uh, that we release now that you can get on uh, CD Baby. Okay, so that means you're going to come back to see us in Philadelphia real soon. Absolutely. Okay, well, we're at the Black Professional News. We're going to have Black Professionals News. We're going to have to make sure that our, our readers, our listeners, and our viewers find out when you're going to be back so that we can let everyone know.